Two. Okay, let's start off with Lydia. I could die. I am dead. This is my ghost. You're a ghost and I need to have a real serious talk. Why? <laughs> it's weird. I'm the Claudia to your sheriff. Who have I erased? I want them back. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Thankfully, Lydia's a genius, so everything that they didn't let us figure out last week where they were like, ah, yes, well, no, to be fair, we did come to the conclusion that Claudia and Caleb were going to be a related instance, yes. um, but since Lenore kept saying that the Ghost Riders gave Caleb to her, uh, it was up to Lydia to be like, no. clarify, be like, oh, no, she conjured him very clearly, and we're like, oh, well, that wasn't clear at all, but thank you for telling me that that's how that works. True. Claudia is something that happened because of the Ghost Riders, but not directly. It's something that happened because of the Sheriff. Um, and she is conscious that she is dead and does not want to be discovered. Yes. She does not want us to know that she's dead. Um, but we do! But we do, so... Oh. Yikes. I was so angry about it when the show started, and now I'm like, that? Is a justifiable sense. reason. Yes. So, check. Of course, it led to a lot of really sad scenes because we finally got into Styles' bedroom. I was so excited <laughs> when everything started. I know. I was so excited when all the things started reappearing, and then I realized that Lydia was the only one who could see them, and I was like, oh no. no. Now I'm even more sad. Also, what a below the belt comment, Sheriff. Honestly. I Check see a yourself. sincerely disturbed young woman. Bye! Whoa! Whoa, You're the one sir. who conjured up a dead wife. That's true. You're living in denial, sir, here, so I expect an apology next episode. Honestly? He caught that jersey man, and I was like... Ah! Oh, I love everything. Oh. Also, like, let's be real, the, the sheriff without Styles is, like, a distinctly angrier and more rude person. Well, I feel like there's a part of him that knows that he's, like, he's probably just as scared as Claudia in a way that, like, can you imagine if somebody came up to you in your comfortable life and was like, by the way, you have a child, like, you're so terrified of everything changing, and also, what kind of person does that make you if you forgot your child, and here's this girl who's in love with your child, and she can remember your child better than you can. I guess, oh, but like, if they're like trying, like, he knows the supernatural is a thing, so like, that's really not that far off of a... No, but even if you know it's a logical explanation, it's not something that you want to hear, so it's easier to believe that it's not I true. guess. I'm just, he's been very grumpy this season, and I don't just like trying, it. Just trying to come to bat for him. It looks like we're going to focus a lot on that next week. I'm really excited. Yay! Hopefully nobody says to Claudia's face yeah, that, that she's not real. Keep that under Keep that under wraps, wraps for a little while. Yeah. Um, I don't want to deal with that until later. No, because that's going to be bad. Yeah. Because we all saw how Caleb acted out when Scott reminded Let's him that he was dead. Do and that. I don't want to see what sort of powers frontotemporal dementia gives Claudia. Yeah, no. No thanks. The elder trash son. Eldest. The eldest trash eldest son. Trash son. Um, Peter. Peter is back. Up and walking. I still trash. Quite possibly. But less I'm not trash. sure. Okay, but which which scene was your favorite? Did you prefer the scene where Theo was like, Would you like me to leave me leave you alone? Oh that's right, I can't. <gasps> or uh... Melissa and Malia carrying Peter into the elevator and Peter, newly glorious, just looks over at Mel Melissa and goes, You know, you never had that second date and she just drops him. <laughs> Two uh, iconic moments. Honestly. Truly iconic. I cannot express in English or human words. Your trash faves could never. How fave my trash sons are. Or how iconic Melissa is. But like. True. 
That was so great. It was just so great. They're both getting less trashy. We're trying to get into the point where maybe, maybe Peter does have some parental feelings for Malia because in the end, you know, he obviously didn't have to go come down to this fight, but also in the end he was like, Malia, just go. I'm going to fight them. Yeah. And he told her to run and he stayed. And then they left so he didn't have to do anything. But also, like, it came down to it. He was going to do it. He was going to fight, which is, you know, I think slightly redeeming. It Much is. better than season four when the Berserkers came up and he was like, ha, huh, bye. Hi. Character development. We're getting there. He also, like, was chastising her for not having any self-preservation in her. But he also was willing to sacrifice himself for her, which is something that we have never seen Peter do ever. So, like, moving on up. On to... Trash Son the Second, <laughs> Trash, Trash Son, Son Junior. <laughs> he went through a lot in hell. So I we were okay. sort of right because his hell was just a loop of his sister tormenting him. Yeah. Until he got to the point where he's like, "It's okay, just take my heart, little sister." And now he's a sass monster. And he's listen. I still a sass monster, but so he he has like, he has also like moved on up where he's less trash than he used to be. Where he, you know, sees Mr. Douglas and he's like, break the mountain ash. And Theo's like, nah, bro. And then Mr. Douglas, like, is like, I'm going to rip you in half if you don't. And then Theo's like, all right, well. I mean, fair. largely that's probably still self-preservation. Because, like, you don't want him to come out either, either way. But, like, still, I feel it's like there's potential up. there. Largely because of the first part of the episode, I'm interested to see how the trauma of what happened I was going to say, I think it's because he's going to, like, going through hell, because he, like, let Malia kick the crap out of him and was like, it's okay, you, you don't have to You don't have to stop. So, like, did he grow a guilt complex while he was in hell? Or, like, not a guilt complex, but, like, did he grow any feelings of guilt or remorse at all that he didn't have all earlier? Right. So, Who knows? the bone I have to pick with is, I love Theo. And part of me wants him to be redeemed, and the other part of me wants him to not be redeemed, because I think it's super cheap if they take all of the white male villains that the show has ever had and is like, we're gonna fix them, so here you go. Um, and I don't like that, but also I do love Theo and I want him to be not trash. We had a plan. We had a plan, and the plan sort of worked for the most it part. Sort of it would have worked if the German douche didn't come in and ruin that. I'm suddenly German. What? Like what? We won't. Why? I guess we won't go there. So their plan worked, yes. which is unusual because usually when we have a plan on Teen Wolf, it like sort of works and it half goes right, but then something goes wrong and then we have to fix it in like a quirky but unconventional way. Then Miss Blake's in the boiler room and you're just like ah. Right, because yeah. that's the supply room. <laughs> but their plan worked. Like, it worked completely through, and then Mr. Douglas came. So the like, plan was, was that was didn't, the... We didn't plan far enough. Hey, have you ever heard a, a ghost, heard ghost writer talk? Because, like, their mouth is sealed shut, so... <laughs> yeah, so I don't know where you guys thought you were going with that. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, like, what were you thinking? <laughs> you just lock him in there with a pen and a like, piece of paper. Did and you then... just think he was just going to, like, you know, like fix it and be like, ah, oh, okay, so like, by the way, me and my friends have been taking all of your friends, but like, oh, you want to know how, how to get them back? Let me just tell you. But, I digress. The best plan that they've had so far. True. So, true, you know, true, true. pretty good. Um, I um, don't like that Parrish can be controlled by them. Yeah, that's not good. Also, Parrish, where are you going? Don't follow me. Runs away. I feel like he feels guilty. Yeah. Back to being like, maybe I'm dangerous in this situation. Yeah, I don't but want like, to be around you. where is he going? <laughs> Unless he's going to fight the, the ghost riders that Peter was by. I don't know. Because he them. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Parrish has always been sort of weird. He's especially weird this season since yeah. they just ripped the uh, romance with Lydia out from under his feet. No, okay. So last episode they said how the ghost riders were. Like, the Ghost Riders are people who have been taken by the hunt and turned into Ghost Riders. Right. So, I don't know if he meant Was he the had ghost known that. fellow Nazi? Yeah, I don't know if he knew that particular Ghost Rider, or if he just was meaning, like, in general, which is probably more plausible, since he ate something from his head that was different than a human, so I'm assuming it's, like, the Ghost Rider-ness. It could be, ah, uh, it's been a while since I've faced the Ghost Riders. Yeah. It's nice to see y'all again. I'm gonna eat your brain now. 
Um, also, also, you first. What powers do you obtain by eating the brain of a ghost rider? I'm gonna assume the making the people disappear thing. Right, so is that a person inherent thing or is that a weapon inherent thing? Can the gun get rid of people on their own or do you have to be a ghost rider or use ghost rider brains to use the gun? All right, this is a little bit wild, but like, hear me out. Wild hunt wild. I'm sorry, I'll shut up. I hate you. Please continue. <laughs> if say Scott ate the brain of a ghost rider and gained the ghost rider powers, Scott would then be able to go into the train station, but I know they're not going to go there. Unless... I mean, they could. That that would work, but also like Scott, Scott, Scott would have to kill everybody. Yeah. Theo could kill one. Peter could kill one. That's the, fair. The, pl the the plus of having trash people on your side is that they can kill they can kill people. people. And then just be Not like, by the way, I have a plan. Here's the brain. Eat just this. eat it. You don't have to kill anyone. <laughs> They're I already dead. And then why has Mr. Douglas been so intent on getting rid of Corey? Is that what he meant? Because what he said was, some, this is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And then he erased Corey from existence. So, did he mean erase Corey? Is he referring to some larger plan of erasing people yeah. or like winning something? But obviously the pack, well technically the pack's not at a disadvantage anymore because the only thing Corey could do was see them. Well I guess Corey could plane jump, but also it seems that the train station was in a completely different realm so yeah. there wasn't an equal place to it so he couldn't have helped them with that anyway. So technically we've lost a friend but we haven't lost a tactical advantage. A tactical <laughs> advantage. Sorry, Corey, I don't mean to reduce you to that, but like, at one point in the plot, we were like, ah, yes, Corey will be the key to defeating the Ghost Riders, and now it's like, well, everyone can see them now, so yeah. it really doesn't matter. So I guess if Corey Corgar goes to the same place Styles is, Corey at least can go explain to Styles see, what's going down. That's the pro of like having other people like disappear, because like then they can just go find Styles and be like, hey, bro, we're working on it. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah. Peter is on his feet walking around now. Theo is on his feet walking around now. The possibility that my two true trash sons could meet is getting exponentially higher with every episode. <laughs> the, the tension is rising within her. Keep in tune for my death. <laughs> when they meet, I'm not sure what will happen. That being said, I think that's just about it for this week, right? Yeah. So, we will see you next week on Basically Banshees. Arr How could you be so heartless? Oh no! Ah!